Welcome back. Today's video, we're going to be sewing up some pleats for 1970s van. We're going to be sewing the pleats out of this vinyl right here. It's a, I believe, aqua color. Here's the seat. Comes out of, a, I believe, a 1972 Volkswagen van. This is the passenger. I got the driver's seat in the rear two rows over on the other side of the shop. I got my vinyl, I got my sew foam, I got my rulers, my scissors, my favorite scissors, my chalk. I prefer using chalk when I draw out my pleats. And most of the time I got two yardsticks, one four foot or three foot, but they're perfect widths for pleats. So I've always got those on hand. That way I don't have to measure everything out and not get them all perfect straight. And of course your sewing machine and your thread. And again, I'm going with the off color thread on top of that blue right there. Your next step is to draw out your pleats. And I always cut my little center marks in almost every piece of fabric that I mess with. So that way it gives me something to go by. And then again, with my one yardstick right here, I've had it for so long, you can't even tell where the numbers are on it anymore, but it's just, it's perfect. Uh, my next step right here is to lay it all out on the sofa. phone. It's one half inch so phone. And, um, for those of you starting off and wanting to do this as a hobby or start a little business doing it, the sew phone will always have the netting on the back for your bobbin thread to grab a hold of. It's good practice to get you a piece of scrap material to test your machine to make sure it's worked properly. All right, as you can see, I already got a couple of them done. Well, you see one, but this is the last one for the two front seats, the two bucket seats. And so I was gonna show you two good ways to get really good, clean, crisp, ribby pleats. First thing, I'm gonna go by that center mark. No matter how long it is, I'm always gonna find that center, even with the diamonds. I'm going to start off with that center mark. That way, if anything does stretch, it stretches out from the center. And by the time it gets to the end, the eighth and ninth is going to be too much of a big difference. But there's a good little way right here to not even get any kind of stretch as you're going down and doing the pleats. Once you get your center mark in, you get set up for the next one. And what you do is you just, as you go down, I take both hands with both fingers like this and I just start pressing down on my vinyl into the foam as close as I can without sewing into my finger. I've only done it once in like, 14 years maybe, 13 years, 14 years. And then when you do that, you ain't really relying on the bobbin to catch the top there. When you press it down like that, you give it a little bit of assistance. It sets in the place with the threads instead of hoping the bobbin catches it and pulls it down. And then I just continue to do the same all the way to the other side. Press them down every couple inches or so.
enjoyed it, stay tuned. Like and follow for more. That way you can see how the van turned out. Because uh, I think these will look pretty good.